This laptop is a Siemens PG. That is especially for Siemens controller program laptop. So in this laptop, uh, the same version, MicroWin version 4.0 SP9. So let's open it. So in this Siemens PG, it has a CP5611 adapter built in in the laptop. This CP5611 has a multiple function because we know the old style Siemens controller, uh, for example, i7-200, that controller use PPI protocol. i7-300 controller use MPI protocol. And Siemens controller also has a profit bus DP protocol. So this Siemens PG has a CP5611. This adapter can communicate with all those protocol. So if we go to the control panel, he does set PGPC interface. From here, we can see that this system, the adapter is named the CP5611. And this 5611 has an MPI protocol, profit bus protocol. But things is that we cannot find a, like CP5611 dot PPI here. We cannot find it. From this access point of the application, if we compare with the previous one, it has a micro win heading to a card, point to a physical card. And this laptop doesn't have that. So that means we need to manually create a channel, create a access point, and connect this access point to this physical card. Firstly, let's create an access point. And this assigns point we can name by what we want, but we better align with the software. For example, this is a micro win, right? So as a, I, I will write down micro win here, click add. Close. So that means we create a size point, but currently this assess point is just an empty assess point. So we will assign this CP5611, uh, but which interface parameter we can assign? So here's a point. We need to select 5611.profit bus. And maybe you have a question why we select the profit bus. Uh, follow me to look at that. So let's hit the properties. And from here, we select transmission rate 9.6, but keep in mind here, by default, because that is a profit bus, by default, the profile will select to DP. To allow this CP5611 to communicate for PPI, we can select a universal DP FMS and select the speed, 9.6. And if your laptop is the only one master station in this bus, you can select check this box. PGPC is the only master on the bus. And hit the OK. This is a very important selection here. And from here, our access point is micro win we point to a physical card, CP5611, profit bus. But the profit bus in the properties, we select DP FMS. And from here, hit OK. That means we assign the software system to a physical card. Let's turn to the micro wing side. We double click this uh, CPU icon. And from here, we select uh, communicating. Let's hit the set PGPC interface. Let's double check what the current setting inside this software. So that is a micro win. 
select CP5611 properties. Okay, double check it. The same as before we said, select OK and OK. So from here, that means the step seven micro win knows that, oh, my access point, that is the micro win name and my physical card, that is the CP5611. And from here, you know, you see that the protocol shows MPI, it doesn't matter. The physical cable from the PGPC to uh, Siemens uh, i7-200 controller, that is the RS-485 uh, cable. Usually from Siemens side, they are use, they use the, a purple cable for that. That cable, inside the cable, there are two cores. And behind this uh, uh, Siemens PG, there is a one physical uh, 9 pins RS-485 uh, connector there. That is uh, one female connector. The connector on the cable, that is a male connector. Okay, from here, let's double click. So we found that, so this card already scanned this controller and the difference we can find that the Siemens card, CP card, it can know what the actual controller name, what the virtual name from here. And once we hit the OK, we read the PLC, it read the actual PLC here. We hit the OK and from here we can hit the upload, upload the controller. So and ask me, do you want to save the current project? Because current project is empty, uh, I'm not going to save as we click no. And then it will upload, override your existing project. We hit the upload. And upload done. So if we go back to the OB1, OB1 main, so we see that this controller is working and the, the program we already uploaded. So we can write off or write on. So this is the second laptop. It is a Siemens PG. It is using the 5611 Siemens built-in card to communicate with this controller. So that 5611, that by default, that is a perfect bus. But we set this uh, perfect bus port to a special setting from properties. That is a universal DP FMS. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.